I have only I only know that they're hundred dollar dolls. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Okay. Okay. Where do I we have... begin? Who makes them? What we is it? We begin in 1986. Uh... <laughs> I remembered well. Yeah the uh, the company was started by a woman named Pleasant Roland. Pleasant Roland. And uh, she okay. is described as a former educator and author of educational materials. Okay. And she was like, hey, what if we made some dolls that were from historical periods? Okay. Uh, she also really wanted to create a doll for girls that wasn't a baby doll. Okay. That, you know, uh, oh, encouraged Like diaper care. changing. Yeah. Okay. But then there were also then Barbies, which were these more sexualized aspirational dolls. I right. Guess. Her word, not mine. Oh, thank um, God. <laughs> anyway. Aspi- if you're aspiring to a Barbie doll, yeah. stop. <laughs> stop. I mean, you know, in her defense, she's had a lot of careers. She has, she does work. I think she was president once. I Well, I, but no pension on any of them. Well, you got to stick true. with your job, people. If you want to get a pension. Uh, so she, uh, she created dolls that were targeted at girls in the age range of about eight to 12. Uh, and okay. she, she wanted to position them as a playmate or companion, which is actually kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> it, I don't know. It, well, it like an action. That you, well, it implies that you don't have a, another friend. Okay. Which I have been in that position. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, so you, did, did you have American Girl dolls when you were a kid? No, I did not. Okay. I, I was obsessed with them. Okay. You uh, read about them a lot? Yes. They it, would send a catalog to your house. Okay. I don't know how I got on this mailing list. Uh, some of you are nodding. You got the catalog. So they would send you this beautiful catalog. It was it was probably, God, I think it was uh, maybe about 10 inches square. It was yeah. big for a catalog. But thick? Uh, re- reasonably thick. A lot like a Sears catalog. No, Thinner not that than that. Yeah. Okay. It was, right. it was kind of like a magazine. Okay. Um, oh, right, right. Like a, like a life magazine. Okay. In size and shape. And so the, the cover was always some girl, some beautiful young wasp. Yes. Um, <laughs> playing with one of the dolls. Oh, okay. And then, you know, you would open it up. And uh, when I first got the catalog, it started out with three dolls. There were only three. There were only three. That makes sense. There was Samantha, who is identified as a Victorian doll, but it's actually the Edwardian period for the OCD among you. So not the greatest educationalist in the world. No, apparently. Pleasant Roland. It's like, like, you remember how it was like like kind of still. It is transitory. It was like still the 80s for the first couple years of the 90s. It was was still, (laughs) it was still the Victorian era. Okay, okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a while to cross the pond, you know? (laughs) Right, sure, I get it. People didn't even know that Queen Victoria was dead yet. Right. They're like, we're still all about the teddy bears and the creepy child photos. Exactly, okay. So there was Samantha. Samantha. And so, was she steampunk? um, No. no, I want her to be steampunk. um, She was an orphan, and they did deal a lot with uh, child labor in the industrial age. Okay. Uh, Yeah. The right. Because, well, all of the, okay, the basic thing, let me lay this out. before we get Before we really get into it, you guys. (laughs) So every doll had six books that came with the doll. About um, their lives? About their lives. Like 30-page, like, little tiny kid novella kind of thing? Yeah, I think, okay. I think usually they were more, like, in the 60 to 70-page range, and then there would be about 5 to 10 pages of, like, they called it looking back. Um, they would show you pictures of period-appropriate, Oh, you know, history kind accessories. of stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, yeah, so you can see why I liked it. Oh, yeah, all yeah. That, yeah. All you're, that nerdy stuff. Yeah, you're a giant history nerd. Um, So, you know, you would then, you know, you would read each book. You know, they had one that was like the the introduction to the character. There was always a school story. Okay. There was a, a like a, a holiday Christmas story. Oh, nice. Uh, there was a, uh, they had to save the day in one. They had a birthday. And then uh, they experienced changes. <laughs> <laughs> The, the final book in each series is always called Changes for Samantha. Changes for Molly. And then none of them got their periods, in case you're wondering. That is not... That's the only real change. Yeah.